Welcome to Top 10 Archive. Earth is a vast planet, massive to a degree that we may not comprehend yet. From an article published by National Geographic, humans have only discovered 15% of the species alive on our planet. This installment will cover 10 of those newly discovered species, gems that Mother Nature, up until recently, was able to hide from our prying eyes. Number 10, Bamba Lenonai. It's sad to think over time John Lennon may be forgotten for his musical talents, but a group of scientists from the Museo Pararense Emilio Goelgi in Brazil were sure to make it so his name lives on in some fashion. In life, Lennon may have been a beetle, but post-mortem, he's a new species of Amazonian tarantula, the Bamba Lenonai. The new species of Therophosidae is quite tiny, with a body measuring in at around one inch or three centimeters long but is otherwise unremarkable when compared to the oversized Goliath bird eater that it is related to. When inquired about the naming, study leader Fernando Perez Miles claimed that Lenin was chosen because he helped to make the world a more gentle place. You know, like tarantulas. Makes perfect sense. Number nine, Etendeca. It may be difficult, but try to quell your awes over this next adorable entry. The Etendeka is a round-eared Sinji, or elephant shrew, found in the remote regions of Namibia. The tiny creature is smaller than other known macrocelidids and is typically found with rust-colored fur and a large, hairless gland under its tail. The tiny mammal comes in at around 7.3 inches, or 18 centimeters long, from its tail to its cute little snout. To aid in finding food, its tongue can stick out over several millimeters past its already elongated proboscis. Initially, researchers believed the Etendeka to be nothing remarkable until a genetic test was done, showing major differences between the two. The Etendeka has avoided detection for so long due to its habitat being so arid and difficult to access. Being so cute and cuddly looking, we expect it to eventually find its way into the world of house pets. Number eight, Kisingia gigas. The Kasingia gigas' sting is one jellyfish sting that even concentrated bull urine couldn't help. Discovered in 2013 off the coast of Australia, this spectral-looking jellyfish grows up to 20 inches or 50 centimeters and packs a lethal venom that is believed to cause Irukandji syndrome. One sting from this arm-length oceanic beast can be painful, but the nausea, vomiting, and possible death that follows are a bit more concerning. What's peculiar about the Kisagia gigas is the complete lack of tentacles, which, for most jellyfish, is the common appendage known for dishing out the sting. While some marine experts believe the explanation is as simple as having caught gigas that have shed their tentacles, others believe the bell of the jellyfish is where the venom is introduced to its victim. Number 7. Moroccan Flick Flack Spider Arachnophobes, take note! There may be a spider that could help cure any fear you may have of these eight-legged critters, or they may be more terrifying than you could have imagined. The Moroccan flick-flack spider is an intriguing entry into the world of arachnids in that instead of jumping or walking normally, it cartwheels rapidly to its destination. Sure, it moves like any other spider, creepily slinking on its eight legs, but when speed is necessary, the Sabrinus Reckenbergi launches itself into a flurry of cartwheels that moves roughly six and a half feet or two meters per second, or roughly about the speed a human will walk. As the name implies, this nocturnal spider is found in Morocco, specifically the Erg Chebi Desert. As the flick flack spider is not believed to be poisonous to humans, there may be a future in Sabrinus's circuses or illegal underground flick flack races. Number six, the Araguayan River Dolphin. Though the Araguayan River Dolphin is fairly new to us, it's already on the endangered species list, with only an approximate 1,000 to 5,000 individuals alive today. The Araguayan River Dolphin is much like its Amazonian counterpart, equipped with different sets of teeth in their elongated beaks, though it's believed to have less teeth per hemimandible. Also like the Amazon River Dolphin, the Araguayan species has a melon-shaped forehead that it can change the shape of. According to mitochondrial DNA studies on the Amazon and Araguayan river dolphins, it is thought that the divided species occurred over two million years ago, around the time when the Amazon and Araguaya Tocondas river basins separated. In the Araguayan river, the long-beaked dolphin faces a great threat from commercial fishermen, who are known to kill dolphins for stealing fish from nets. 
Number five, Edwarsala Andrele. For those who aren't too familiar with what a sea anemone is, consider the most extraterrestrial looking creatures stuck at the bottom of the seafloor. They're a mess of tentacles, vibrant colors, and an eerie intention to their movements. A new addition to the great family of sea anemone was recently added, but this one doesn't spend its time dwelling on the ocean floor. Rather, the Edwarsala Andrele, named after the Antarctic drilling program during which they were discovered, are found attached to the underside of ice. The one inch or two and a half centimeter long anemone were found hanging upside down on the ice when researchers had lowered a camera below the ice to get an understanding of ocean currents beneath the ice shelf in Antarctica. They found more than they bargained for, stumbling across the alien sea anemone and its 20 to 24 prey-catching tentacles. Number four, Tuberochernus coni and Hesperochernus bradybowii. Are you terrified of scorpions? <laughs> well, fantastic, because these next newly found creepy crawlies should really help that jitteriness. Found in northern Arizona in a cave near the Grand Canyon, the Tuberochernus and the Hesperochernus were located together and immediately placed within the pseudo-scorpion order. As the name would suggest, these creatures look like scorpions, but are missing some very basic characteristics that their fellow arachnids have. Though the two pseudoscorpions have pincers, they don't have the signature stinger normally found on a scorpion. That doesn't mean they're entirely harmless, though, as these pseudoscorpions inject their prey via stingers in their pincers. Due to their existence in a lightless environment, the pair of pseudoscorpions have adapted to living without a need for vision. Number three, Frigonistria husei yentuensis. Imagine you're walking along peacefully in the jungles of Vietnam, admiring the fauna and wildlife around you, when suddenly what you thought was a nearby branch starts to inch its way towards you. Screaming is definitely an acceptable response to a foot-long walking twig, so don't feel ashamed. After you're done screeching in terror, you can take solace in knowing that you're not about to become victim to some camouflaged carnivore. Instead, you've come face to face with the world's second longest insect, the Frigonistria husei yentuensis. This slow-moving herbivore can reach lengths up to one foot or 0.3 meters, though it may be seen closer to two feet with forelimbs outstretched. There's definitely nothing to fear from these harmless critters, but it's understandable that their size might be a bit shocking at first. Number two, Limnonectus larvipartis. There is much about the Limnonectus larvipartis that separates it from other frog species, but its most striking feature is how it handles fertilization. The frog, local to Sulawesi Island, Indonesia, gives birth to tadpoles, but does so in quite the unique fashion. This species of fanged dichroglossidae gives birth to tadpoles rather than froglets, as other species are known to do. More so unique than the means of how this amphibian gives birth is how a female frog is inseminated, as the male larvae partis lacks the proper and usual organs used in this process. The amphibian is quite tiny, with male sizes averaging at one and a half inches or 3.8 centimeters, and females averaging around a slightly larger 1.6 inches or four centimeters. Number one, Ampulex Dementor. How about a little horror story to finish this list off with? Enter the Ampulex Dementor. If you're catching a Harry Potter vibe in the name, you're right on the money, as the newly discovered wasp was named after the soul-stealing dark figures in J.K. Rowling's World of Wizards. The Ampulex Dementor is no threat to humans, but may foretell of what Mother Nature could have in store for us. The newly discovered wasp, discovered during the Thailand Inventory Group of Entomological Research Project, has a venom that turns cockroaches into willing participants of their own demise. The digger wasp, which resembles more of an ant than a wasp, injects venom into the cockroach, which blocks receptors of octopamine, the neurotransmitter that initiates spontaneous movement. Though the roach can still move, the wasp directs it where to go by dragging its prey to what will definitely be an unpleasant death. The roach is then eaten either by the wasp itself or newly born larvae. Have you heard of any of these new species? Do you know of any other new discoveries scientists have made recently? Do you have an idea for a future top 10 video? Let us know in the comments section below. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and our website, 
top10archive.net. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with all your friends and family.